Anyway, they, uh, well, there's a bloody job. You know you always get the unusual request. <laughs> like, can you, can you come and shift it? Or whatever. <laughs> I was blowing some tree roots in one gentleman's back garden. Oh, very wealthy man he was. And he got out of his tree roots, got out of his back garden, you see. And there was another gentleman there standing watching the operations. And I was operating quietly, a thrutch here and a thrutch there. <laughs> and I quiet, quietly got his tree roots out of his back garden. And the other one came up to me and said, Oh, Mr. Beats, by what I've seen here this afternoon, you could be very valuable to us. I said, Oh, yes. He said, Yes. He said, I would be obliged if you come up to the crematorium on Monday morning. <laughs> anyway, he said, I would be obliged if you come up to the crematorium on Monday morning as we are extending our lawns of remembrance. <laughs> and we've got to remove about 60 small tree stumps and it's taking our men about two days to dig one out. By what I've seen here this afternoon, you could probably remove the lot in a couple of days. I said, I probably could, given the room. <laughs> so I went up to the creme on Monday morning, and when I got there, he met me. He said, just one thing, Mr. Bates, we're rather busy here, you know. Every 20 minutes. Up the bloody flu, I. <laughs> so, I <laughs> thought... He said, and I would be obliged, I would be obliged, if nothing went off while we were cremating someone. Which is understandable, the bloody crack of doom and all that lot, you know. <laughs> oh, I go behind the bloody works and get up on the bank at the back. And I could see the drive coming in was about 100 yards long and the drive going out was 100 yards long. But with the contour of the ground, I could only see 20 yards of the in and 20 yards of the out. But when I saw somebody come in, I could be digging the holes underneath, wait for the blue smoke, and wait for them to go out, give them, give them, give them a quarter of a mile down the road, and then thump, 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 have a dozen off. Then somebody else would come in and dig away again, and it worked like a bloody charm. Till about half past eleven, quarter to twelve, and I hadn't seen anybody come in. I got about twenty odd ready. I thought, oh, they've knocked off for lunch. Oh. Uh, setting them off. And boom, 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 and they're going off like buggery all over the place. And he come up the bank. Stop! Stop! I can't! Boom, boom, boom! And the last one is always a good one, you know. Um, and a deathly silence. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Bates, whatever are we going to do? Whatever are we going to do? I said, why, whatever's the matter? He said, we were cremating lady someone or other, and then this lot bloody started, <laughs> you see. I said, well, just think about it. Abide with me and a 21-gun salute. <laughs> <laughs> he was... Was not impressed. <laughs> so after the, after this bloody fee, I, I better go down and have me dinner. So they have a few graves there. Well, they got a couple of three grave diggers. The great lads then. So I get in the up with them. I said, "Have you got a cup of tea on?" He said, "I." And one of them said, "Do you want a butty?" <laughs> I said, "Half a minute. I'll go down to the pork butcher shop. The pork butcher shop. Bought my jack a lame. I'll go down there and get a pork pie." So I went out and I got one of those big ones, a big five bob one, you know, with a rose in the middle. And I carried this bugger back up again. I said, here, I got my pen knife out, we'll have a bit of this. He done a cut it, done a cut it, he says. Give it to us here, he said. And he took it out. By God, he was back in about two minutes, two or three minutes. And the juice was running out of it. He said, we'll have a bit now. He said, I've warmed it for thee. <laughs> and I, I must have been a bit bloody soft. And I got stuck into this. I said, by the way, I said, where do you, I said, you, where do you want this? You shouldn't got it bloody hot. I said, it's a big one. Oh, he said, those bloody ovens don't cool down at long time. <laughs> I said, I hold it in on me shovel and it does them even all round. <laughs> you, know, you keep looking out for the bloody fingernails and signet rings, you know. <laughs> oh, put me right off, Bob, bye. Anyway, 